Hey. So, um, it is like midnight, and I was just watching a bunch of, uh, DJ Slipster Four Breaks videos. Um, and one of his videos, he was talking about converter boxes and stuff. And I commented on it, and then he got back to me and said that he bought one. And, uh,. Or his his parents bought one, and then the quality was like really really crappy. The signal was bad, so I thought, well, you know what? With this whole digital transition thing coming up, maybe I should make a video showing these kind of things, and like so people can make sure that they set it up right, and uh, you know stuff like that, so that when June twelfth or whenever comes around, they're not all sitting there. Like, wondering how they're going to watch TV ever again. Um, so first of all, this is the converter box right here. Mine's a Insignia. Um, my parents got the coupons online that give you $40 off. Or not online, but from the government. I think you can apply for them online. Um, and they're $40 off. These were 60 so we got them for 20 each. Um, they have ones now that are only 40, but I don't know how good of quality they are compared to this one. This one's really good. Um, pretty much, it just has it's got a power button and two channel buttons, which I never use. Um, one of the main things that I've found is don't is not to put anything on top of it because if you put something on top of it, the signal gets really bad. Um, once you have the box, another thing you need, which you probably already have, is an antenna. And if you don't have an antenna, it won't work. Um, I have a Turk antenna, which is also from Best Buy. It was like 20 bucks. I bought it like three years ago when I bought my first TV. Um, it's got the loopy thing and the two you know, antenna parts, um, just like most antennas do. Now, I'm not going to, like, try to turn around my TV, mostly because it weighs, like, 80 or 90 or 100 pounds, and, I mean, I could move it, but it would just be a pain. So, we'll see if we can see the back of this. Okay, hold on. We got a flashlight. This will help shed some light on this. Alright, so you can see there's five ports there on the back. There's the yellow, the white, and the red. White and red is audio and yellow is video. Um, and that's how you get the signal from the box to the back of your TV. Back in there. Um, also though, you can send it through a coaxial cable, which is what that fourth cable is, the one that looks that's black with the yellow. That's uh, a coaxial cable going from the converter box to the back of my computer, because I've got a TV tuner card that I never use anymore. And then the farthest away thing, way over there, um, is an antenna cable that goes from right here it the it came it's attached to the um to the antenna and it just goes to the far port on the back of the converter box and so the hookups that you need to have for it to work are this one here the farthest one um the far antenna one the far coaxial going to your antenna and then either the second coaxial going to your TV or these three going to your TV. Um, they say that the um, having the three cables gives you better sound and picture quality. I don't know if it does because I used to have both hooked up to my TV and I couldn't tell a difference. But the instructions say that you should. Um, you will get a remote, more than likely. I would hope every box would come with one. This remote came with it. Um, but what will happen is um, if you have 
they're plugged in through the coaxial port on the back of the thing. It'll be on like channel 3 or something like that, I think. I think mine was channel 3. And, um, I'll even, you know what I'll even do? Is I'll go through all the channels. <coughs> Gotta wait for the big old TV to, like, warm up. Turn the volume down a bit so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This TV does take quite a while to warm up sometimes because it's big and old. Okay, so the volume, we got it really low. Um, so one of the cool things is this. It's a... Oh, are you serious? Yes. There's a zoom feature because this is a digital TV. So if a show comes in 16 to 9 resolution, you can press the zoom button and you can actually change it to fit. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's see, let's go through all the channels. We'll start with 2, because 2 is the first channel. So you got channel 2. Then I get channel 2.2, which right now is showing the same thing. Um, channel 4. Channel 4.2, which is uh, movies all the time. And you get a display button, which tells you that right now the movie that's on is Blowout. It uh, tells you all about what the movie is and then you also get a guide which you can't see really good but pretty much you can go through all the channels like this and it'll show you what's on on each channel so that's really cool um so let's see what's next we got 7-1 then 7-2 which is um the retro television network they have old stuff on all the time 7.3 is weather, which is kind of cool, because if you don't have cable, you don't get weather channel. And if you want to know the weather right now, well, there it is. It's currently showing Ann Arbor, but... Oh, now it's showing City Airport, but it's got, you know... Um, channel 20. Channel 22, which is the same thing. Uh, 38. And then I think the... No, the signal is there. That's the other thing you get. There's a signal button. And you can see down there how it's kind of... And see how it's it's getting all laggy and glitchy? It's because the signal is really bad on this channel. Because it's, um, it's not really close by. Same thing with 38.2, which shows the same thing. Then you got channel 50. Let's see if we do signal on this one. It's better. Um... So let's see, then we got 56.1, um, 56.2, which is showing something different, even though it's a channel of 56, and then 56.3, which is also showing a different thing, and the last channel 62, which is the one that it started on. Um, it has a TV power button right there. Um, I have tried to program it for this TV. But there's a certain thing you do to make it work, and then it has a power button for the box, and the light, oh, I'm pressing zoom instead, the light turns red when it's off, um, but yeah, so, so that's pretty, I like that, um, I like the digital TV thing, um, I like it a lot more after June twelfth, so that I stop, you know, seeing all the. Are you ready for the digital TV revolution? You need blah blah blah, and all the little, like, we'll be running a check on this day. If you don't have digital TV, your TV will look like this. If you do, it'll look like that, and it's it's just like ah. So, that's how that works. Um, this video is really long. Again, I keep making videos that are way too long. Um, so that's it.